Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Danielle here. Before we get started and before I show you this really cool haul, I first wanna say thank you so much to everyone who understood why I didn't post a video last week. I know a lot of people were using their platforms to bring awareness to the Black Lives Matter movement, but I just wanna be sure and make it clear that I was not avoiding this movement whatsoever. It's just that this movement was stirring a lot of emotion within our country and even across the world really, because everyone is advocating for the Black Lives Matter movement, but with the movement, it's brought peaceful protesting, which is freaking awesome. It's brought rioting and looting, and I know that when it comes to the looting, it's very controversial, but I understand that we live in a capitalistic country where people are trying to target these huge corporations and companies that make millions, if not billions of dollars. And so I get it, but the only message that I have to looters is to know who your target is. I just don't feel like you should be vandalizing poverty-stricken communities where low-income families live or where there's like a crap ton of mom and pop shops because the minute you start breaking their windows, you start vandalizing their buildings or you start looting their merchandise, it's gonna be so much harder for them to recover from that than it is for these corporations who, has, who have like billions of dollars and it can just recuperate so much quickly from that. So that's just really frustrating and I say this because last week my sister was live on Instagram where she had the lights completely off. You couldn't even see her. All you can hear is her voice and she was really shaken up because she lives in um she lives in a neighborhood in LA that is Latino based. And so it is a community of lower income families and literally right across her apartment building there's a little plaza where there's like a panaderia there's a little grocery store and they're all little mom and pop shops run by people of color and so in the middle of the night she heard a few like i don't know if they're kids but people breaking the windows throwing rocks and so she confronted them and next thing you know they're pulling guns out at her and threatening to shoot at her and the thing is she didn't want to get the cops involved so she didn't do that what she did was go to instagram and try to communicate to the people of her neighborhood to like tell them you shouldn't be tearing down your own community. You should be standing with them. So with that said, y'all, if you are looting or if you're rioting, know who your target is because it should not be your own community, especially if it is a community where people of color live there. It just doesn't make sense. I just think it's absolutely disgusting how many videos and how many pictures of police brutality are showing up on social media. You go on Twitter, you go on Instagram, you go on YouTube, you go on any social media platform and you see a freaking incident of police brutality. And I think it's absolutely disgusting. So I do think LAPD and other police departments across the country need to freaking step up to that. And this is why I do think it's important that we need to defund the police and Luckily, with all that everyone is doing with the protesting, with the donating and signing petitions, we are getting there, y'all. We have taken away a few million from LAPD and it's being allocated into education and community. And so we're getting there, but we still need more to do. So if you are going to be out there protesting or rioting, y'all, just be sure that you are wearing safety gear. You have your head covered. You have your mask on because do not forget Corona is still out there, y'all. We should be doing all we can. If you are going out and protesting, make sure you stay in a few days to make sure you are healthy and a-okay also it is super hot in los angeles so if you are going out there just make sure that you're staying hydrated and you don't faint or pass out from heat exhaustion because that stuff is serious y'all but right now is a really good time to educate ourselves on the movement and to voice injustices that we see not only with the black lives but things that are going on during these peaceful protests y'all it's just it's just freaking crazy. So I'm going to leave a crap ton of links down below where you can sign petitions, where you can also donate. If you can't donate, there's also a stream that you can watch or a video that's up on YouTube and simply just watch that, watch all the ads and the AdSense will go to one of the funds. Just remember, if you're going to any protests, y'all keep safe. But with all that said, Black Lives Matter and let's get straight into this haul. You guys. I went to another estate sale. Okay, so I don't really know if it's an estate sale or a vintage sale, but y'all, I told you my new obsession, instead of thrift stores right now, is finding these sales through Offer Up. I found another one, and this one, y'all, I feel had the best prices and the best clothes so far. So I've gone to about three of these type of sales already, and usually the 
the sellers are older women and so their styles tend to be more vintage. Yo, my mind was blown when I met up with this girl because she was a bit younger than me and so I was like, oh my gosh, I thought she was like the daughter of the seller letting me into her home, but she was actually the seller and she had some cute ass clothes. So I want to go ahead and show you guys what I got. I walked away with about maybe, again, 30, 40 items and I spent a total of $180. So y'all, let's get straight into this haul. We're gonna start off with some tops. Y'all know that I've been super, super into halter tops and corsets. So the first piece I wanna show you is this corset right here. It is in this pink color. It has like little jewels all around it. And look at this print, y'all. I don't even know. It kind of reminds me of like an Ed Hardy type print, but it has like a motorcycle, fire flames, a heart, wording y'all it's just so much going on in this cute little pink corset i've been looking for a top that is one shoulder and y'all i finally found it and i know it's black but look at this texture look at this it has little squares all around and it's stretch construction so that's really cool and it's a one shoulder love 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 this and i love that it's black too so it's pretty versatile to pair with different types of outfits. The next pop here is this really cool polo that I actually really like. I'm usually not a fan of polos, but I couldn't resist this color. And then it has a peaked collar, so it gives it a really retro fit. And I feel like these are pretty easy to style too. High-waisted mom jeans and then a belt. Yes, good to go. So love that. This one here is not necessarily my style, but I am slowly getting into like vintage pieces. And so we have this cute little mint colored like elbow length sweater which I thought was really cute it has this like open knit construction but again this color was really pretty so I was really drawn to it we got a haul to top and it is this one here in a leopard print oh, animal print is super in right now I love this one because it kind of has like a sheen to it so I can imagine this with leather pants or a latex mini skirt Ooh, yes That'd be super, super cute. Okay, we've got another top here. This one is more on the plain, simple side, but it's just a white top and it's rib knit construction and it does have a surplus neck. So we have this right here. Again, it's more of a basic, kind of reminds me of something that you'd see at Forever 21, but I literally got this for like three bucks. I was like, okay, it's a basic, I can't pass. And this one, I don't know why I got this one either. This is totally not my style. I think what really got me were the flutter sleeves, and so it makes it look a bit more romantic and girly, but it's this top right here. And usually I do stray away from these type of tops that usually have a front self-tie just because you need boobs for these type of shirts and I do not have that so it usually isn't too flattering on me but I feel like maybe with like a lace bralette underneath it could look really cute moving into a printed pink color so it looks like this is a lightweight jacket here y'all look at this print oh love 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 this this print kind of reminds me of clueless y'all i know a while back ago i had mentioned that i've never watched clueless and you guys suggested it over and over and over again in the comments and y'all i finally watched clueless over the weekend and i get it now i get it the fashion the outfits everything about that movie oh i love it but back to this jacket y'all it just has a front button closure it has front patch pockets this print and then of course a belted waist which i thought was super cool this is a piece well it's actually a two piece but i was thinking of this possibly being a thrift flip project because i have a sewing machine now and so we have this two piece set here this is a skirt and then we have a little vest button up so i was honestly thinking of just cropping the top cropping the skirt and wearing some tube socks white shoes oh, i think that would be super cute but love these pieces Together. But then again, I feel really guilty about flipping vintage pieces and not keeping them true to their style. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, but I'm debating. I don't know. The first dress I have to show you here is a hefty one. It is all denim. It's got this zipper yoke detail on the front and then on the back. And it is more of a midi length dress. So I don't know how I'm gonna style this yet, but I'm up for the challenge. I think it's gonna be super cool. Next up, we have this really cute feminine little dress. It's this pink one here. <laughs> pink. It's this yellow one here with a front button detail. It has these really cute puff sleeves. And then it just has like this stripe texture to it. Can you guys even see that? 
Oh, just a little bit. Next up is another cute little dress, y'all. And it is this blue one right here. It's a cute little mini dress. Look at the print, y'all. We have butterflies and we have flowers. So it's definitely like spring, summer ready. And then this bold color, mm-hmm, love that. Here we have, I'm a sucker for slips. So I had to take this one because it's this cute little pastel blue one. And it has so much lace detailing, which in theory I should have thought more about because that means it just it's gonna make it so much harder to wear out because it's so sheer and there is so much lace so I was just like how am I supposed to style this but really like the length of it and the color so mm, that got me okay y'all I have another little slip here and what you don't see a lot are these shorter length slips I usually run into like the midi length or the maxi but this one oof, I'm gonna be keeping for myself the other styles that I'm just not too fond of they are gonna be posted on my depop so check that out but y'all look at this cute little slip here it's more of a like yellow off-white type color the bust kind of has this mesh construction with a little bow detail which I thought was super cute and then the hem just has this lace detail next up we have this bodysuit oh this bodysuit is so freaking cute it just fits me a little too big so this one is gonna be posted on my Depop but you guys look at all this color and at first when I saw this I thought this was actually the back but with the tag being on this side this is this makes it the front and so we have a little mock neck with a button closure we have a little front cut out and then the zipper is actually here on the front the first skirt I have is this midi length one here again we got some more animal print and it just has this contrast lace hem and then the same thing on the waistband and then it's elasticized so it makes it super dang comfy so love that Oh, another pair of bottoms that I have I'm currently wearing, guys. So these are some Levi's. Sh they're just plain white, high-waisted. Y'all, she had so many pairs of Levi's, but I just kind of took sizes around my waist size or, you know, a little bit bigger so that I can sell on Depop. But y'all, she had such a cute collection of clothes. Okay, moving on to the next pair of shorts are these here there's some Tommy Hilfiger y'all look at how cute they are this is more of a medium wash they have fading on the front and then also slightly on the back and it does have more of a carpenter style so we have the hammer loop here who next up I really wanted these to fit me but they are these striped high-waisted vintage shorts right here y'all look at this color look at these colors I love this and so this one was one of the more pricier pieces so I paid ten dollars for these and it's just such a shame that they didn't fit me so these are gonna be listed on my Depop these pants here that are this really cool print these don't fit me they will literally not go above my thighs so I can't try these on for you guys but it does have it's kind of weird because they are in the construction but they don't have much give or stretch so I will have these on Depop but make sure you check the measurements on these oh my gosh you guys Wait, we have more shorter stuff over here. Ah, oh, we have so much. Okay, okay, let's just go through these like threads obsessed. She couldn't go through pieces super, super quickly. Okay, we got a denim mini skirt. I absolutely love this one. It has contrast leather on the back and then here on the pockets, which is super cute. And then it has a raw hem. Next up, another mini skirt. I don't know whether she cropped this or herself, but it's originally from Gap. And it's just this like patchwork color block little mini skirt. Again, it has a raw hem, but it is slightly uneven. So that's why I'm thinking she probably hemmed it herself. But y'all, look at all these different colored denim. I love that. Ooh, we have this really cute little sporty fila skirt. It has a front pleat and then one on the back as well. It's just this really clean white with this signature striped waistband. Oh, I am a sucker for any tweed mini, mini skirt. So we have this one right here. You guys look at these colors. Orange and yellow together. Mm, 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 love that. This honestly gives me a little bit more of like fall vibes, but I feel with the colors and if you were to pair it with like a crop top and maybe some tennies, it'd be perfect for this weather right now. We are going through these pieces of clothing. Okay, next up. Oh, I love, love, love this mini skirt so much. But it is a size large, so it fits me a tad too big. But you guys, look at this fabric. It is, it has like a black undertone, but it has this metallic purple sheen throughout. And it is a mini skirt, so I think it's absolutely adorable. So what kind of sucks about going to these vintage estate sales is that they're in people's personal homes and they usually don't let you try things on or there aren't any fitting rooms and it is kind of awkward to ask to try things on I feel like the vibe is very much shop and take what you want and then try it on when after you buy it you know so a lot of these pieces if they don't work like I mentioned are gonna be on my Depop so it was 
pretty much the same case with these pants here. I wanted them, I liked them so bad, but they just fit me too big and this, this pant is just too cute that I don't wanna risk just putting it under a sewing machine to possibly fix it. But it's velvet construction, kinda has a kick flare leg, Again, y'all, animal print. I'm so freaking obsessed with it. And of course, has more of a monotone color with the black and white. I'm usually not one to buy brown or like very neutral natural colors, but these pants sold me. And it was mainly because this trouser has such a wide leg and the length fits me perfectly when I wear platform shoes. So absolutely love it. Okay guys, we are down to the last few pair of pants, but the next pant is this trouser right here. Again, it has a really bold print, but it's just in black and white. It is a wide leg. I already paired this with that one shoulder top and some platform shoes. It was so freaking cute, absolutely love it. And these are more of a thicker fabric, so it kind of sucks because it is literally in the high 90s right now in Los Angeles, so I don't think I will be wearing these anytime soon. Okay, you guys, let's move on to some denim. When I tell you that this girl had an awesome denim collection, you guys will understand why. Let's start off with the first pair. These pants were a bit too big on me and I think they might be women's jeans, but they fit Arthur perfectly, so they are gonna go into his wardrobe. And they are these light wash denim right here. They fit him as a high waist, they have a button fly, they have a front and back yoke detail, seam detail. And then all throughout, we have this really cool piping detail and it goes right into a straight leg. Here we have, Oh my gosh. You guys, did I say that these were Levi's? They're actually Guess. They're not Levi's. Oh, my mind is everywhere right now. Okay, so she had a whole bunch of Guess, vintage Guess denim, and she was selling it at like five, ten dollars per piece. So here we have some jeans right here. They have a little bit more of an acid wash. They are higher waist. They have a button fly. We have the little Guess emblem here on the back. And then they just go into a skinny to straight leg. Okay guys, we are down to the last two pair of denim jeans and they are my absolute favorite. Okay, let's start off with this darker wash one here. So both of these pants have really frayed detailing and I love this. So we have this one here, again it's a high waist. It's a dark wash denim, we have seam detailing and pretty much all the seams and the hem are all entirely frayed. You guys, down to the last pair of denim and they are these patchwork pants right here. These are no boundaries jeans. They are a junior three and they fit me just a little bit too tight and they are low, a low to mid rise. But y'all take a look at these pants. They are super, super cool. They are cropped for sure in more of a capri length and they have different patterns on each little square here. So you can see this has a paint splatter. This has more of a floral print here. And we've got stars in the back. So I just thought this was super, super cool. Again, this one does have that fray detailing all throughout. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the end of this vintage estate haul. If you liked any of the pieces, give this video a big thumbs up. If you're interested in purchasing any of the items, most of them are gonna be on Depop. I'm gonna keep like a handful of pieces for myself just because after my closet clean out, I literally only have like maybe five to ten pieces in my closet right now so i definitely need to stock up on my own but if you're in the la area or specifically northridge and you're interested in checking out her inventory i will leave her offer up link down below so you guys can go check her out she has awesome prices an awesome inventory to get rid of too do not forget that i also have links down below that you guys should totally check out that are going to boost the advocation for the black lives matter movement anything from petitions to sign and donations and also a stream here on YouTube that you can watch where all the AdSense will also go to the movement. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. I post a video once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.